Hello and welcome to this video of Zone Tool tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to explain you uh, how we decided to show the data and how you can read it and what each header means. Um, right now, we uh, I choose to run this video at campaign level. So in order to get to the campaign level, you just open the left menu, you click on campaigns, and you will be shown all the campaigns. In the following video, I'm going to explain you how to leverage the menu and how to use it and what each of these uh, uh, menu voice means. But for now, let, let's stay focused on the data. Um, at the campaign level, we're going to show you the campaign name and the action that can be taken on the campaign. Um, also, in the following video, I will show you how to leverage these icons, colored icons, in order to navigate our platform and to take action on on campaign ad groups or keywords. But for now, just know that we are the campaign level. This is the campaign name. The first line and the second line are the actions that can be taken on this campaign. The second column will tell you uh, the targeting is a manual campaign, is an auto campaign, and the state enable. So state below, targeting above. Cre start date and end date, we don't have any. Max spend and max echoes, these are values that right now are unset or zero. This means that you have not given us any threshold for us to run rules. So at the current state, we are not automating this campaign for you. Um, check our tutorials. There is, there will be, if you're not already, uh, toward the end, um, a tutorial on how to set up rules on your uh, existing campaigns, as well as how to customize those rules at ad group and um, keyword level. So just if that's what you want to know, just go and look for the other tutorial videos. Budget, this is the budget of a specific campaign. Uh, interesting thing is like, like most of the uh, value you see here, if you double click on it, you will take it to the edit page, which you can directly edit the budget and change it to up or down. Uh, and save the record and we will update it on Seller Central as well as, you know, if you want to pause the campaign, you can do it here. If you want to put an end date to the campaign, you can do it here. If you want to switch premium bid on, it can be done on this screen. And as well as if you want to archive a campaign, it can be done here. Um, impressions is the impressions with campaign generated over the period of time you selected, which is six months, which is our um, default uh, time range. Clicks, the above value is this one. CTR, which means click through rate, is the below value, which is this one. Spend is the above value, which is this. And CPC, cost per click, is the average cost per click this campaign generated over this amount of time. And is the below value over here. Order seven, RV, which is the above value, RV orders that you generated within seven days of the click. Order 30 over here are the orders, which is 33,430, are the orders that you generate within a 30 days conversion window. Um, Amazon on Seller Central offer you only the seven day data. So whatever you see on Seller Central is based on the seven day conversion window. Through the API, they do offer also the 30 days conversion window. So it's it's more data for you. It could be interesting to know how much more you're selling if you want an app with a, a conversion window. As for the difference between order seven and SQ, which means same SKU seven. Um, so order seven are basically all the orders within your catalog that were generated by this campaign. This means uh, a user, a buyer search for something, your ads get triggered, your ads get clicked, that user buy anything within your catalog, not necessarily the item he clicked, the order will get counted at the order seven level. Same SKU seven, the way it works is a user, a buyer search for a keyword, find your uh, ad of one item, click on that specific ad and if he buys the same specific product that was advertised in the ad, that will count as a same SKU. So basically the buyer bought the same SKU he clicked on. And this is 
there is most likely if you put more than a skew, if you have a variation size and color that are within the same campaign, there is always going to be a delta. And the way you read this delta is that in this case, so only 20,980 people bought the same item they clicked on, and about 9,000 people, so the difference between the two, bought something else. So they clicked on an item that was advertised here, and they bought something else. Maybe a variation, maybe something completely different, but still within your catalog. Um, I hope this makes sense. Um, moving on, we decided to show the same data at 30 days orders and the same SKU over 30 days. Here, sales 7 is like how much money this campaign generated over a seven days conversion window for the six months period we're looking at. And the same SKU is how much money was generated by buying the same item it was clicked. The same apply here, just over a 30 days conversion window. And uh, as for CR7, CR30, this is a conversion rate. So the conversion rate of this campaign over seven days and the conversion rate of this campaign over 30 days. Please, this is not the organic conversion rate. This is the conversion rate of this specific advertising campaign. And then you have, finally, you have ACOS 7 and ACOS 30. Okay, so the ACOS over seven days period and the ACOS over 30 day period. And for this video, that's it. Ah, yeah, last thing. Please know that you can sort by descending or ascending any value that you see on our uh, data. So you can, by clicks, impression, spend. If you click the arrow down, you go descending. If you click the arrow up, you go ascending. And please know that there are two levels of headers. So if you want to sort by clicks, you need to go over click and click the arrow up or down. And if you want to sort by CTR, you have to go to CTR and click the descending CTR. So we see the high CTR in this campaign. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom, uh, how to set up rules on your existing campaign. Stay tuned and see you soon.